Now over the break, I had to take a step back here and kind of figure out the economic situation because things were not looking good. And that made me realize why America isn't like the first nation suggested uh, in this game. And that's because they're quite possibly on the brink of destruction at all times. You know, I'm not even sure if it's brink, brink? Is it the brink of destruction or brick? It's definitely not brick, right? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I probably sound very stupid, but that's okay because uh, you guys already know that. I pretty much tanked my economy in the last video. Now, I have fixed my economy for the most part. Uh, some things have changed because I had to really restart a, a bunch of, of things. It's 2030, and uh, I really had to come at this whole campaign in a whole nother light, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, remember in the start of this of this series, we saw the U.S. like all the way over on the right-hand side. They're actually one, I mean, if you're looking at it from left to right, the U.S. is actually like the least suggested. I mean, it's on the suggested list. That makes sense. Uh, but the fact that it's all the way on the right-hand side, I thought was a little bit weird, especially considering that they're the number one in score, uh, and they have the most, you know, powerful military for the most part. Uh, yeah, kind of weird. And that is because this debt is a huge issue. And uh, in taking the U.S. and trying to go authoritarian or totalitarian or just trying to take over countries isn't really a plausible thing because uh, your, your whole economy is basically holding up the world's uh, kind of GDP growth and things like that. I mean, I feel I felt like I just I couldn't the whole the whole world just started tanking as soon as you know the U.S. my, my nation started doing other things that could have been just like a uh, uh, what's that called a, a coincidence I guess you could say but we'll see um, so I'm not supporting China at all China is currently number two in terms of score uh, I have hosted the Olympics which has really helped me I've been funding every single project that I that I can I do everything I can to keep GDP growth up. Um, that is the biggest thing is I've, I've been focusing in on GDP growth uh, because things are things are not gonna go too well if I if I don't focus on that so yeah uh, France is in my in my stock exchange now so uh, that's really important we've got actually somehow I've really aligned myself to European nations uh, we have the UK and Germany here oh I guess France isn't a part of it wait a second they were a part of it when did they not become a part of it I don't know. I guess I missed that. They were not too long ago a part of it, but I guess they might have started something up. Uh, obviously, my uh, my stock exchange is huge for, I think, the world economy, if I'm reading that right. Oh, gosh, unemployment growth. That's great. Uh, yeah, world stock exchange. Look at that. Huge, massive, massive. And we absolutely need this because uh, we will get crushed to debt. We will get crushed under debt if we don't have, uh, if we're not making super super crazy amounts of money okay so we have the Islamic State declaring war on Iraq Iraq uh, I'm also going after this this awesome project right here look at this thing look at this thing GDP growth 0 0.05 that's nice uh, stock, stock income from members 10% plus an additional slot for my stock exchange that is that is incredible now this cost me a lot of money to do but uh, obviously it is really really worth it so who are we going to invite to the most powerful oh can we invite russia maybe we can no three is not enough yeah so we are able to invite a lot of different people i'm assuming because of the fact that uh, everyone wants to make some money just about everyone wants to make money who's green i don't think there's any more green nations anyone from the benilux territory no that would have been nice i would have invited uh the netherlands um i believe that australia is not oh what about indonesia indonesia that's Singapore. Yes, I think that's probably going to be the best number we can find. Uh, South Korea. How about South Korea? South Korea is willing to give us eight. There we go. Let's do it. Yeah, South Korea is probably going to be the best. So we'll invite you. Bam. I have pretty much unlimited action points right now. Uh, I'm also trying to keep the world alive. Uh, I was trying to, you know, kind of do my own thing as the U.S., and it was not working. I tried so hard uh, over the break to kind of, kind of manipulate and see if I can invade countries and be evil. It's really tough. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at my economy now. Okay, so we're now making 1500 uh, Every single... Ooh, that bet... Oh, that's South Korea. South Korea is going authoritarian. So we want to keep the peace in the world. We want to keep stability. Because uh, when everything gets all chaotic, we have to keep everyone, I guess, under our, our own financial domination. Because if not, we get crushed. Uh, Bulgaria has joined the block of, of Russia. So we don't want... Uh, instability in this world that's really really bad uh, every single election I've been keeping my uh, my interventionism down personal control down I mean my military even's gone pretty far down if we look at my uh, my current hold over 
Yeah, nuclear management. I mean, I've only got 63 nukes right now, which is saving us a little bit of money, which is nice. But uh, yeah, I'm not really focusing too heavily on nukes. So yeah, my uh, apparently the debt goes up. So the amount of debt you have to pay week to week uh, goes up every election. So I've you know this is America, so I've got an election every single four years. So 2032, we'll see this rise up. Uh, I had to raise my taxes to 40%. Yeah, pretty expensive, but that's the only way. Uh, we are really going to see these types of numbers. So Kazakhstan's joined the block of India. Uh, I've actually pretty much only been pissing off China for the most part. Everybody else really likes us, I think, outside of that, kind of. Bam, there we go. So we're really pulling ahead in terms of the score game. Indonesia is actually fourth. Um, but yeah, we're pulling ahead, which again, as I've said earlier on this series, as the U.S., we have to absolutely stay in that number one spot, uh, or else again, we will not be able to, uh, oh my gosh, yeah, India does like us, but of course India's doing their own thing with their own block. I don't really want to get my own block up. I, I haven't even done anything with, uh, with, with Canada. I don't, I don't really care. It's fine. Okay, representatives, representatives of Serbia, Montenegro, and Macedonia gathered recently to talk about a possible union. Oh, the feeling in these nations is that it's way too dangerous to go alone any further considering uh, the current world situation. They have decided to create the Republic of East Yugoslavia. Holy crap, that is awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. East Yugoslavia has also left the block of Russia. Good, good for you. Good for you, man. That's cool. Yeah, so I've actually been seeing a, a few. We have West Yugoslavia and East. Wait a second. This is the political. We don't want to look. At, there we go. Political map mode. That is cool, man. I like that a lot. Um, so that's not the only map changes. There have actually been a few. Uh, I haven't read every single one of them, but the other one that I saw. There we go. So I just uh, enacted maternity leave, which is going to up our population growth. We want to continue to make uh, population go up. Actually, that's one of my tasks that I think I need to do. Increase population to uh, 41,000, above 41,000. I'm sure that's not an actual representation of the number we need to get to, but, you know, probably just a figure, like a percentage or something. Not a percentage, but, you know. Anyways, um, so, yeah, if we look at India, Bangladesh joined India. They decided they didn't want to continue onward. So, uh, yeah, they're they're doing that. Uh, we've got China at war with Pakistan, and uh, is this, yeah, Indonesia. Oh, okay, and I actually invited Indonesia. Well, hopefully the money, no, I was about to invite Indonesia. We were very, very close to doing so, at least. Okay, so I've got some projects to enact. I've really been focusing on the economic tab here. Uh, anything to increase GDP growth. That doesn't cost me a bunch of maintenance, because then I feel like it's not necessarily that worth it. Here we go. Financial sector supremacy. Uh, additional slots plus two. Stock income from members 25% uh, and intervention target goes down. Maintenance is only eight action points. That sounds amazing. We're going to enact this. Now, this is going to cost us... It's going to take us years, several years to enact, but we get that up, and that will keep our economy safe. There might be a point in this campaign where we will actually be able to do things that we wanted to do in the first place, uh, because I have such a strong hold over uh, the economic situation of the world. Unemployment go down by 0.1. I don't mind that, but I don't want the interventionism to go up. I want to stay a Democrat. Uh, tax income 2%. A, a, a democracy, I guess I should say. Uh, reduce administrat administrative structures to make the tax revenue collective system simpler and more effective. I like that. I don't mind more money. I want to keep making at least over a thousand. As soon as we start dipping under a thousand, I know something, something's up, man. We gotta, we gotta stable out here because things, bad things are about to go down. So we gotta, we gotta watch that. Um, in terms of like uh, warfare, nuclear war, I mean, we, you know, the environment seems safe for the most part. Now it's two thirds. Ooh, boy. Okay. But of course, always things happen like this. So we've discovered a spy in our nuclear research department. We don't know exactly who yet, uh, but we're close to finding out uh, what should we do with them. Uh, let's see here. I can spend money, catch them, and hold them. Maybe let them escape with something. Fake news. Ooh. Yeah, I kind of want to figure out who this is. It's probably I'm, I'm assuming Russia, China. Yeah, I'll pay more money. I'm, I'm always kind of not worried about just throwing the bigger amounts of money at it. Okay, I'm losing. I'm under a thousand here. Uh oh, we didn't figure out who the spy was in time. They escaped with some crucial documents. I, I thought you gave them fake stuff. I thought I saw fake news in there. You were gonna give them fake news. Oh wow. Okay, I guess uh, that was dumb. <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna give them fake news to, to run to run to their home country with, but there goes more of my warheads. Again, I'd rather be in the situation where I might not have the biggest military in the world if that means I can save my economy. 
if that means economic situation is going to be better. Okay, so who just got nuked? I'm assuming China. Oh, crap. Okay, so some, some loot. What? Is that Batman? Look, it's, it's Batman. Some loonies dressing up in colorful spandex and pretending to be real-life superheroes. Surprisingly, though, he's actually caught quite a few thieves and muggers and uh, taken them to the police. Unfortunately, in doing so, he's caused quite a lot of damage to his uh, part of town. Catch him and put him away. Uh, that's going to cost me... That's basically nothing. That's just kind of a fun event. Looks like he's doing more good than bad. Leave it be. Um, maybe we could use him to attract tourists. I'm down for attracting tourists. Hey, come look at Batman. You want to come visit Batman? That sounds fun. Okay, so hold on. The next... We're going to have the next selection here soon. I think I want to take a nice dent out of, uh, out of some of this debt cost. Oh, good. There we go. Look at that. Our superhero became quite the attraction uh, and seemed to really like the attention he was getting from the media. That's awesome. Hollywood movie makers, it didn't take long to agree. Boom. There's a little bit more score. That's awesome. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to pay some of the step back. I'm getting a lot of money. Uh, I know that it's probably unlikely that I'll ever repay this completely. I mean, it's, it is possible. I actually do see a way out for me. Oh, crap. Who is getting nuked? Stop nuking people. I didn't see the first time. China versus Pakistan. That's Yeah, that's not a good conflict. That's not something that you want to see. Um, I don't think I want to pay all of it. Don't want to get rid of all my money. I do like having this like buffer zone of about like 10,000 gold. That's really nice. When is my financial sector supremacy up? That's going to be great. That's going to be so good. Okay, so let me take a look back at my, uh, my stock market. Okay, let's get everyone ranked back up. Looks like nobody's left just yet, which is perfect. Good, 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 good. What is this, what are we looking like now? 76% of the World Stock Exchange is all from our US. Wow, no wonder people are just leaving, trying to get invited and things like that. That's that's amazing. And when we get two more available slots, it's it's just going to be it's basically just going to be us. I'm guessing we'll get it over to 80, 85% if I'm understanding this correctly. Next elections, here we go. So we should be fine. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't like the nuclear war that's taking place. Uh, that seems to be likely. Population growth. Uh, current plus two militarism target. Interventionism target. Okay, so we're fine. I think for the most part we are we're okay. Close to okay. So Mexico just closed their stock exchange. Laos joined the block of Japan. Oh man, we're we're starting to, we're approaching 1500 gold per week. So this is uh this is nice. I'm going to keep taxes at 40%. I'm a little bit worried about raising them any higher. I don't know exactly what would what would happen in that situation. Um is unemployment unemployment's at 8 8.15. I'd like to decrease that. I know there's a few projects that I can do that'll cost me a ton of maintenance, but you know, I think for in terms of unemployment, the only thing we can do is really push it down, pay for it through you know, gold per turn, basically, uh, but push it as far down as possible, and then you know, pay the maintenance like a thousand gold, whatever, to keep up, and uh, and then release it, and then have it. You know, it's gonna slowly creep back up, but then push it down again. So I think that's probably the best, uh, the best event. Okay, so anti war mongery. International just. Oh, so are you trying to repeal this? Yeah, you're trying to revoke this. We don't, we don't want you to revoke it. I, I don't think so. Yeah, so you can you can go home, uh, Russia. You can go home. Nice. Okay, so we're still number one in terms of score. Block of Russia. Oh, Block of Russia destroyed. That is, that's some fantastic news. Uh, now, if you noticed something over the break, I wasn't really paying attention much to this, but Russia is dangerously close to uh, to what's it called? Rebuilding the Soviet Union. So they grabbed Lithuania. They grabbed Estonia. Uh, luckily, they've got no friends. I guess Belarus isn't cool with them anymore. There we go. Interventionism target 10. I guess everything is fine. Um, world economy situation has been actually quite low, but I'm making so much money that it's fine. Uh, yeah, so this we want this to stay all the same like this. We don't want this to mess uh, up at all. Over my Germany. Uh, Germany left my stock exchange, I think. I need to read those notifications a little bit more, huh? Canada also, whoa, 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 Canada, why aren't you making us much money? Okay, so uh, what is this? Call, oh, colony collapse dis uh, disorder. For unknown reasons since the beginning of the century, the honeybee, oh, crap, popular, I know about this stuff. 
this honeybee stuff is pretty serious stuff right here. Theories behind the phenomenon include, I act like I know exactly what's going on. No, I, I don't really, but I've heard about this. Uh, yeah, man's overuse of pesticides, fung fungus, diseases, stuff like that. We can try to take preventive, preventative measures by restricting... Um, okay, so I can make unhappiness. Okay, so I don't want to ignore it. I, I, yeah, I, I'll go ahead and try it. Interventionism looks like it's going to go up, but that's fine. Okay, you're going to move Germany. Germany doesn't want to be a part of the Cool Kids Club anymore. So that's fine, Germany. You can go ahead and do your own thing. Um, let's keep South Korea cool with us. Yeah, obviously we're going to support the UK in this situation. Even though our relations with uh, China aren't as bad as you'd think. So here's the thing. So when I get the financial sector supremacy... Um, we're really not going to be... I bet you there's really not going to be that many people. We're probably going to have to deal with those like twos and threes around the world. We're probably going to have to invite them because uh, I, I seriously doubt that we'll have anybody above, you know, five, probably, more than likely. Yeah, I, I really I really don't think so. Okay, so wait a second. Since the election happened, yeah, so debt costs now up to 1500 We really need to be careful of this stuff. Um... Yeah, I mean everything seems to be fine. It's a little bit risky, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just pay it all back. Yeah, shoot it way down to twelve hundred. So is that ultimately going to allow us to make more money? I think that's why I wanna hold on to stuff before my election comes. And then right when the election happens and the debt goes back up, you know, we do a real quick payment. What is this? Epidemic. Hey, look at that though. The debt is it's we're we're taking the debt out of it. That's nice. Okay, so a terrible plague is spreading throughout our country. Our country? The US. Uh, we don't know its origin uh, or how to fight it properly. Should we send a team of specialists to investigate before it gets any worse? Yeah, I think so. It's a plague. It's just a little cough. No, oh, I guess if I... Population growth. Well, I actually don't want popul... Oh, GDP growth. That's the biggest thing for me. I do, I do not want GDP th growth to go down. Unhappy... Okay, so bad things are going to happen no matter what. Um, yeah, negative GDP growth. Hate that. That's really not good. And nukes... Great nukes. Okay, well, just give us a second. Okay, we're gonna get some good projects that come up. East uh, Yugoslavia has joined the block of Russia. You know, I was really proud of you, East, East Yugoslavia, but now I'm not anymore. Now I'm not too happy with you. So I just want to let you know that it's not cool, bro. Not cool. Okay, so at least we're making money again. I've got unlimited action points. Stock exchange for the UAE was closed. Ooh, you know they tend to make a lot of money. Maybe we could. Help out with that. World economy situation is actually pretty horrible. I don't know how we're making this much money. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, well, let's let's give it another year. We're going to have a bad year, more than likely. Oh, yeah, look, world economy is tanking right now. Uh, take a look at the window. There's smog everywhere. It can't be too healthy. Yeah, yeah, I would say I would agree. Uh, we need to limit pollution. Yes. Now, where's my interventionism at the moment? I do not know. Unhappiness is still going to go up. I need to do this now. I mean, I've got interventionism that's already pretty high, but I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be okay. Okay, economy, modernization. So we just got tax income, more taxes, basically. More efficient taxes. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there. We'll come back in the next one. I feel good, but obviously, you know, we seem stable at the moment for this video, but things are really starting to get really rocky here at the end uh, with some of these events and some of these things that are happening around the world, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep uh, this... Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this pace up. We'll see what happens. I think that the world economy is going to start to begin to, I think, hurt us pretty badly. I've never seen it go that low, so that's pretty scary, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.